A wooden desk. The king of desks, they called it. Uh, yes, the supercomputer of desks from the 1880s. Yeah, the patent date is 1874. And then this side is mailbox. They were purpose-built for organizing your stuff, and it's so much like the supercomputer. You got to open it up to see if you have mail. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop to sell my original Wooten desk. It was designed by William Wooten, and this one is dated 1885. This desk came from the great-granddaughter of the original owners. The price I want for the Wooten desk is $14,500. These are amazing when Wooten came out with these things. It was the first desk that was like business oriented. It wasn't like a writing desk at home or something like this. You did business with this desk. Well, these were very professional desks where the world was getting complicated in the Gilded Age and you know, to get organized, you needed one of these. Can I open it up? Yeah, go ahead. This is clean, this is really nice. Oh, that's great. It's in beautiful shape. A lot of these got fairly beat up because they were real commercial desks. But this one was in the in the single family and descended, and it was stayed in very good shape. These are all original. There's little compartments, and there's an alphabetical system and a number system for you know bills or invoices. There's the mail slot in the back, so when you come in in the morning, you could just open this and grab your mail out from here. Oh, I can see it's been a little bit modified, but that yeah. happens to him every once in a while. Right. Apparently, he had some sort of paging system put in there or something like that. And I'm assuming these right here were most likely for setting his pens in. They're inkwells, a red one and a black one. I, I mean, I really, really do love these things. A lot of famous people had these. I think three American presidents did. Queen Victoria had one, John D. Rockefeller, Joseph Pulitzer. They were really the prestige desk of their era. Um, OK, so how much you want for it? I want 14500 I'm in love with this thing. 99% sure everything's cool, but do you mind if I have someone look at it? Not at all. I don't know if they uh, there was different companies making them and right. selling them as Wootens later on. Right. Uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to call somebody. Just make sure there's no problems. But as far as I can tell, there's no problems. So, but give me five minutes, all right? That's great. I have no doubts but that this is an authentic one. I'm real happy to have an expert look at it, and I hope he backs that up. Nice. You bought one of these new, right? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> However, they're interesting. The guy who invented this, William Wooten, decided he was going to build the best desk out there, the king of desks, and he came up with this. I love these because of all the cubby holes. There was, uh, what, 114 or something cubby holes in it. The desk itself is all made out of black walnut. Now, these are faced in probably curly maple. Much of this was done by hand, and this was not cheap in its day. So how much were these new? I think they started around $700 for the lowest end, and then went up to thousands of dollars. Whoa. You know, at that point in time, that was a horrendous amount of money for a desk. And looking at it, it doesn't look like it's had too much work done to it. This is beautiful. So the reason I called you down here, it's a Wooten desk, right? Can we close it up and take a look at the label? Yeah. I just want to make sure someone just didn't take a Wooten label and stick it on this thing. Yeah. Should be letters on this side, yes. Oh, yeah. So looking at it, looking at the label, this is a Wooten. This one's just beautiful. All right, so, thanks, man. Um, not a I problem. knew you'd want to see Thank it. Thank you. Absolutely. This is a beautiful piece. Thanks for bringing it in. The Wooten desk, for anybody collecting late 19th century furniture, this is one of the ultimate pieces that you would have. This is a beautiful desk. Of course, if it were me, I'd take it home. <sighs> so how much you want for it? I want $14,500. You bet you'll take 12, right? Uh, I won't take 12. I think it's a, it's a really good piece. It's a one family piece. The condition's excellent. And even the modifications are interesting. So, well, Amy, what's your best price? 14,000 even. So 13? How about 13,5? You got a deal. Thank you. This thing is Thank absolutely you. amazing. Go right over there. I'll have someone do some paperwork, and uh, I'll give you some money. Thank you. This is what happens when you get emotional about stuff. You pay too much. <laughs> wow.
wow, this thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.